Welcome to University of Chimera Stadium in steamy Tombstone, Arizona, where the only thing hotter than the heat is the ceaseless sinning. The players are ready to rock the red zone and red light district tonight. Let's go down to the field for kickoff. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The micro hard mutilators face off against the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a hell of a Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. <laughs> oh, that gets me every time. Like a jack in the box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. It's a good reception. What's that? A fabulous interception. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. He scores! Hey, just think three years ago, Bricks, this robot was a fake ATM machine stealing millions. Now he's scoring in front of millions. That's NFL football, folks. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. Any proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> Third down and ten. Bull on steroids. That'll be a first. And that's a hell of 
a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First down and forever. It's a six yard gain. Second down and long. Except maybe four on that play with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. That's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Third and four. Punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. <laughs> they are going for it. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnet. You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. Even though he's a big, nasty D lineman, he's still got his hands up for the deflection. Second down and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones stamping and cracking? I mean, when it boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. And that is called for a first down. First down and five. point attempt it goes
rolls right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake straight through the uprights the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now He's going to have the IQ of a Rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Graham. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth. I'm gonna <laughs> ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. in his path. He's at the 20 to 10. Man, he's such bullshit. This game is bucket rigged. I tell you to pro Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. Second down in a very lot. And there's another 
Olympic. And this boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to fight it. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. It looks like the lineman wanted to give the ball a high five. That he did, Bricks. That he did. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running buck. Dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich. Uh, uh, he's got his flame on working. Third and two. another pick man oh man the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense oh look at this guy break tackles he takes a lick and it keeps on ticking he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way somebody get that guy a beer because he just saved me a thousand bucks oh my god a man from prison just came out of the field that's the ref you idiot let's see what the penalty is <laughs> The offense has only two linemen left on the offense, and will need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Hey, don't say mean things about short people, Grim. Hey, at least they don't look down on people. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain. Oh, man, what a throw. And Sonic Blast is his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot two. Second down in a very long. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and three. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Bricks. And he's off to the races. And 
Giants, first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and nine. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses. For oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And, oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grand. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's right. What you talking about? In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. And he's running like a... Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. One, hot two, hot three. Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he laterals the ball. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. He probably thought it was an earthquake. I bet he wishes he was right. In between being digested, that is. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. With that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. Two, three, three. That ball was almost intercepted. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gun. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. particular case I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Third 
third down and the offense needs a miracle. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Tackles. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Briggs. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Briggs. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. lost another running back and only to remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if they rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. First down and three. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Second down and more than the QB would like. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Third down, and the punter is warming up. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Touchdown! <laughs> No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! The defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Hey. 
It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. That's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And there's a... Boom! First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. This is a first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. What are you trying to impress your nerd fan base to bring him into the game? Second down in a mile. That was a good throw, and assuming he was aiming for the ground. Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh man, he really wants it. He's rumbling. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. QB defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> now this guy had a lot of integrity. If he took a bribe, he blew the whistle. He put his money where his mouth was. Yeah, and now his mouth is where his foot was on the ground. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. That pass was good for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one.
Third down and a pussy here. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> First and ten. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. And it's first and ten. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Look at that little mutant run! Uh, I don't think you can see it, man. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Eh, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it and it's first and ten oh, seriously man you think you go toe to toe with me you get my grill I'll ruin your world ruin it Second down and a lot. He could go all the way. The 30. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. He could go all the... Yeah, never mind.
First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. First and ten. Come on! And the, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. First and ten. QB passes it for... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. Second down and nine. force meets the explodable object one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dock the offense is down to their final lineman so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game how's he gonna be able to block all those defenders by himself grim well he can't which is why the qb is gonna have to get rid of the ball very very fast if he wants to stay alive and it's first and ten the defensive players go berserk, and the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The 20. He's at the end. They're catching up. Joke, job, do something. Why is it that no one can score in this league without showboating? No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. They want more points, so they're going for two. Turn here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? It's a touchdown! Hey, 
Remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Grim? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. The offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is pop the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The Cardinal Sins get crushed and lose by forfeit. Someone get more body bags. They battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Michelin mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy.